Hello everybody, Antoine here for Sim Architect and welcome back to a new video that I'm really excited to do because today we're gonna build a small um, French palace using uh, the absolutely fantastic CCs from uh, Felix Ender that you can find on Patreon. Um, I think I already told you about him. He's a German creator um, who's doing an absolutely fantastic job is creating uh, objects inspired by um, the Petit Triano in Versailles, so Marie Antoinette's castle and also is creating uh, many items for a big project he has. It is to recreate uh, the Schwerin castle which is located in Germany because uh, this amazing creator is German so yeah, it created many items uh, for this castle. Uh, for example, the um, um, sorry, the the window I'm using right now with those pillars that are absolutely fantastic as well. And yeah, and is also working on Gothic architecture. So uh, this month, it just released on his Patreon channel um, page. Sorry, uh, it released some uh, Gothic windows that looks absolutely fantastic. But of course you know me and um, you know I'm a big fan of Versailles and of 18th century architecture so uh, when I discovered his work I was like totally overwhelmed because this is exactly what I've been looking for for like 10 years. Actually since I started playing The Sims because I was already a big fan of Versailles and of this kind of architecture but I couldn't find anything interesting anything um, good enough and his work is so so high quality that I can't even say oh thankful I am um, for him to create such beautiful object because it's just crazy so thank you so much uh, to him um, you will see in the description there will be a link to his patreon channel <laughs> And uh, I will talk to you a bit later in the video about another Patreon uh, page. So about the house itself, uh, it's not a huge house, it's actually pretty small. But it's worth about 500, uh, almost 600,000 simoleons. Because the interior is absolutely luxurious. So you will see that it's a bit different because I only built like the shell of the castle on the exterior but I didn't furnish the garden at all because I really wanted to focus on the interior in this video because this is all about the interior which is totally crazy and maybe I will do the garden before um, no I was saying before uploading it but I can't uh, I'm sorry about this you can only watch this video because um, I don't actually own the custom content. Uh, if you want to access to this custom content, you have to be a Patreon uh, on the Alexander Patreon channel. So yeah, I can share it. But um, I think that some days I will go back to this house and furnish the garden to make a new video about uh, a beautiful French garden. I think I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, yeah, so this house uh, is not that big as I said, but it's absolutely fantastic. It's gorgeous, absolutely all what I like. Uh, the French style is probably the best, I believe. I don't say that because I'm French. Uh, I say that because it's true. I mean, all the world envies uh, this kind of style and architecture. And I saw many many places uh, abroad where people, uh, architect, uh, interior designer were trying to recreate the French style but it just didn't look French and I know, I don't know, there's something really special about French style uh, that can only be done in France I believe and yeah it's just so overwhelming I mean look at all the details he did a fantastic job well um, yeah, so the house consists of a big living room that I'm building right now, a big entry hall, a kitchen that looks a bit um, old-fashioned because it is a castle. Um, there's a library, a dining room, which I love, 
two bedrooms, uh, several bathrooms, and yeah, a big, a bit empty room uh, upstairs that I don't know what it could be used for, but it's just beautiful, actually. Um, you know, when you're visiting castle, there's so many rooms that are empty and you don't know what to pet here, but they're just beautiful. They're just here to be beautiful. So <laughs> that's what um, this room is used for. And yeah, look at all the details, the paintings, the chandelier, the everything is so nice. Um, yeah, I just wanted to add to that uh, all the objects are not 100% from Felix Sander. There's some um, chandelier and furniture that come from Mod The Sims. There's another uh, fantastic creator who's called the Jim07. I don't know if you know him, but if you're interested in this style, you should uh, check out his page on Mod The Sims. I believe you know it um, because it is like the most famous custom content page for The Sims 4 with The Sims resource. So yeah. Um, so I wanted to tell you about something that I was thinking about uh, for quite some time now. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I want to give it a try. So I created a Patreon page. Um, I really, th I was really thinking about it a lot about it because um, I don't know. It's something when it goes to money, it's a bit. Uh, not dangerous, but you know what I mean, and yeah. So the idea for me is to get Patreons to get money, of course, and this money would be saved until I can buy a new computer, because as you know, I'm not playing on a gaming computer, so the graphics are not the best, and it takes me forever to export my video when I'm editing them, and yeah, I would just like to buy a more powerful um, computer thanks to this money and that would be absolutely fantastic because uh, with a faster computer I would be able to release more videos because it, it would take um, less time and I could just bring you a better experience I believe and that's all what I'm looking for. Also, I could be able to buy almost all the packs, I believe. I mean, not almost, but just <laughs> them all. That would be fantastic because my houses would be more uh, various, you know. I could be could be more different every time. And also, um, it could allow me to spend less time at work just to focus on my videos because, you know, I'm working all the week and all... I mean, all the week I'm at university and all the weekend I'm at work. And yeah, it's really time consuming. And when I'm home, I'm really exhausted and I don't have always power for doing a video, even if I love this. But sometimes I just don't have time or power. So that would be fantastic uh, if, if I could work a bit less just to get more involved into the channel. This would be fantastic. So yeah, uh, you will find the link in the description or if you saw it on the first image of the video, there was this um, link to the Patreon uh, page. So that would be fantastic. I don't expect expect much because I know that's not easy for everyone to give money to a creator. And I totally agree with you and I totally understand it. Don't worry about this. I mean, for me, this money could be just a plus, a bonus and I would be so thankful. So I think I said pretty much everything, so now I will leave you with the rest of the video. Don't forget to visit uh, Felix Sander Patreon page, he's doing a fantastic job and I would like to thank you, to thank him again for um, bringing all this beautiful content to The Sims 4, so I was able to create this beautiful house. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time, bye! Thank you.